Okay, so let's just start going through some exam papers. This is uh, the 2019 exam. Now, if you actually look through the last four years of exam papers, it's on question one on every single paper. Now, the only one that hasn't been asked in the last four years is the question about children. So consider that when you are revising. A number of factors are important when designing a good human computer interface. But each of the following two factors describe three different examples of user requirements which should be taken into account when designing a user interface. Use by disabled people and expertise of the user. Okay, so for this question, it's two times three marks. So if we start with disabled... And what I always recommend is you bullet point your answers. And therefore, if you've got room for an extra one, it allows you to know, right, I've definitely put enough answers in. And it's always positive marking. OK, so the, the moderators won't give up giving you marks until they've marked the whole paragraph. Once you've got full marks, they will move on to the next question. So we've got disabled access. So this is where you've got two features, okay? So for example, a braille keyboard for the blind. Okay, so a moderator will come along, underline, right, I've got the vector, and I've got the disability one mark. What else have we got? Correct colour schemes. For colour blind. We have the factor. And we have the disability, one mark. Okay, so voice recognition for somebody who's maybe paralysed or have no hand movement, one mark. And then I'd always recommend, if you can think of another one, put another one in just in case, you know, in the rush that you've put, um, uh, put, a, put a wrong answer. And use of a trackable for those with poor coordination. Okay, so that is the disabled access. So braille keyboard for the blind, one mark. Correct colour schemes for the colour blind, voice recognition for the paralysed or if you've got no hand movement, use of a trackable for those with poor coordination. And there's lots and lots that you can choose from. For the second set of three marks, we've got expertise of the user. So that's both of a novice and an expert. So you can give examples of either. Okay, so you could say things like tutorials or help access for a novice. One mark. Yeah, what's going to make it really, really easy for novice? And what do the expert want?
they want to be able to customize to make it suit their needs. Make sure you're being specific when you're saying either a novice or an expert in each one. Okay, if you're not making it clear, then you're leaving a gap for the moderator to fill in your answer and then you, it, it means you're not awarded the mark. Okay, so you have to make sure that you're being very specific to the moderator. Okay, so in each one of these I've been specific, so this is for my novice, this is for my expert, this is my novice, and this is my expert. So in each one I have been specific to say what kind of expertise um, and what specifically is available for different expertise. Okay, so I've got my extra one in there, so that, once I got to the six marks for this particular question, would be six out of six.